Welcome to creating table-to-table -table relationships in the Learning About QuickBase series. You've already learned a lot about QuickBase tables in the first few lessons. Congrats! In this video, we'll explore a powerful way to create useful connections between QuickBase tables. This video references the app we've built in previous videos. To follow along, get the starter app as explained in video 2, getting an app from Exchange, then complete the previous tutorials in order. You won't be changing the app for this video, so just sit back, relax, and get ready to learn. We'll return to hands-on learning in the next video. So far, Sally has several tables in her QuickBase app, and her business is thriving. Sally's happy with her work so far, but she always has ideas to improve her app. When entering a new customer, it would be nice to enter all the contacts at the company, or when entering a new contact, to also pick the company they're with. As it turns out, there's a clever way to do this in QuickBase. Instead of creating new fields for customer info in the contacts form, you can simply bring info from the customers table right into the contacts form. And you can summarize info from all the contacts to display in customers, for instance, the number of contacts. To accomplish this feat, you create a relationship between the two tables. Almost every QuickBase app has many relationships. In fact, Sally's app already has relationships set up. Customers are related to both activities and documents. Each customer may have many activities and documents. Learning how to create table-to-table -table relationships is one of the most valuable concepts to learn if you want to master QuickBase, so you'll really want to get a good grounding in this. A relationship is an association or connection between two tables. Sally wants to create a relationship between the customer's table and the contact's table. When you relate two tables, you save time because you don't need to enter the same data over and over in separate tables. You reduce the risk of data entry errors. You can summarize data from a related table. That's a win-win-win. When you create a relationship, you're telling QuickBase to connect a single record in one table, called the master table, to many records in the other table, called the details table. This is called a one-to-many relationship. It's easy to think of real-world examples of this. A franchise has many locations. A project has many tasks. One cat may have many kittens. You get the picture. These are all examples of one-to-many relationships. In Sally's case, each customer can have many contacts. That's one customer to many contacts. In a relationship in QuickBase, the table on the one side is called the master table, and the table on the many side is called the details table. Got it? After the one-to-many relationship between the customer's table and the contact's table is established, when a sales rep enters a new contact, he can relate the contact to an existing customer. The customer name and related info come directly from the customer's table. This doesn't help if there's only one contact per customer, but for each additional contact, there's never a need to re-enter company info. And if the company info changes, it's automatically updated in all the related contact records. But wait, there's more. When you create a relationship between the two tables, QuickBase performs some additional magic behind the scenes that transforms each table in useful ways. For example, after you relate the contacts table to the customer's table, you can see a list of contacts for that customer and enter new contacts directly from the customer form. Another bit of magic you can perform with relationships is to summarize information from the detail record on the master record. In Sally's app, we can summarize the number of contacts for each customer. And if your detail records have numeric info, we can do even more. You could set up a project master record with the total number of hours of all the tasks for that project, or a franchise record with the total monthly sales across all locations. How about a mother cat record with the total weight of all her kittens? It's all about the beauty of a great relationship. Two-way communication. Now that you understand the basics of table-to-table -table relationships, let's dig a little deeper to show the awesome power of related tables. Keep in mind that a relationship is created between two tables, but it's actually the records in the tables that form the relationship. So after Sally creates this relationship, each customer record has many contact records. Also note that a master table can have more than one details table. In Sally's app, a customer can have many contacts, but also many activities and many documents. Finally, a table can be on both sides of a relationship. For example, a country can be the master to many states, and a state can be the master to many cities. In this case, the states table is both a master and a details table. As you learn more about table relationships, you'll start to see the remarkable power of this concept and how it can help you create apps that can facilitate complex workflows and business logic.
In this video, you learned how you can save time, reduce errors, and display summary data by creating a one-to-many relationship between tables. Are you feeling the power? In the next video, you'll help Sally actually set up the contacts to customers relationship. Roll up your sleeves.